Hey, orange one here. So um, I got on to the, uh, the beta branch so that we could do the custom kingdom creation. Uh, to do that, you have to go to clan here. And the version that I'm on, they've made it so that you can um, do this even if you're at war. Um, I honestly haven't really looked at these, uh, these policies. So we're gonna go with, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna want to just make sure that we're getting a good amount of money. Or, I don't know, uh, war tax? I mean, we're gonna be at war a lot. I think that we're gonna try and make other people happy and try and uh, join us and have larger retinues. Hmm. Encourage for five of their estates, can request labor and materials to do so. Yeah, I think that that would be good. No, things are already kind of built up. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think that we're gonna want people to be able to assemble large armies. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure which one I want to do for the, our other ones, but I think... Yeah, I think we're going to want Canton, so that sounds good. Okay, we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to name this the Merchants... Or No, I was going to do like Northern Sorry Merchants. Uh... Let's see if it can uh, handle that long of a name. Yes. The Northern Asari Merchants Guild. We're at war. <laughs> so we have our own kingdom now, which you know what that means, is that we can uh, assemble our own army. So if I go to kingdom, um, it's just us. Um, but you can see that we actually have all of our companions. So what I want to do is I want to get those companions to us. Um, and I don't know, I wanted to create an army, but it looks like I can't get my companions to join up with me for some reason. So if I go to Rasos, I wonder if I can put someone in charge of this place. If I go to uh, Manage Castle, Governor, we're going to do this to get some people towards us. <laughs> um, yep, hello. And then if I go to you, I can then take you to my party. This is just like a total cheesy way to get companions to you. Um, if you weren't aware of how to do this. It's it's just a little bit of a cheap maneuver. Oh, is she not there actually already? Hold on. Um, maybe she was in charge of an army, so she couldn't just instantly teleport there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, and then let's go to, we'll just, oh, not Garrison. That was the wrong one. We're going to need to put more troops in here. Don't worry, we will. We just need to get them here first. <laughs> and once we have these people with us, then we can um, assign them roles and keep them in our party, which I really should have been doing from the beginning. Um, but yeah, it just kind of hadn't really worked out that way. Jin, are you, again, are you? Also, yeah, you are cool. Yeah, so now I've got a ton of companions in my party. Um, I kind of want to see if I go to... No, that's the wrong screen. I want to go to L, I think, for clan, right? Can I then create a new party? I could. Maybe I'll keep everyone with me for now. And um, I'm going to donate some troops here. Just to make us a little bit faster. And we are going to actually probably hang out around here. I don't want to go running off too much without um, our army. And these guys should get reinforced as well, I believe. Right? Let's it's it's just travel around a little bit. I'm going to go... Hmm. And we could probably get some recruits from here. And we just want to make sure that they've got enough defenders to defend themselves. They, they've got no walls as well, so that's the thing. Is like As soon as that place gets sieged, um, we're going to be in trouble. 
But I think that I'm pretty happy with our defense. Um, with Vlandia has declared war on this. Sorry, really? Okay. You guys are gonna get crushed. <laughs> That's not gonna be much of a competition. Uh, can I? Yes, I can. Nice, a good amount too. Um, I really do want to get some of my companions to have a party soon. Oh, what? Oh, look at this. You can recruit them in here, in there, in that menu. Oh, that's so nice. I like that a lot. Uh, let's also get some food, because I think we were kind of low on food. And I think that we can attack that group of 12, so we're probably going to do that. You know what? Yeah, just get it all. Just take all of the fish. That's fine. It's only 2,000. We're like... We have two million. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Just wanted to make sure if you didn't that you saw that. <laughs> okay, this dude we're not going to catch. Uh, Jerichos? That is tempting though. I think, oh man, we're, we're bleeding money. We got to get more um, territory, basically. So we basically just need to take our, our massive people right here and um, push onward and recruit people and get more lords, um, ideally capture the lords, or not capture them, but uh, get them to join us, you know what I mean? Oh, look at that, that's like, oh, that was really good. Got some good units there. Um, I will take your horses, because I think we're gonna need them. I don't know, but I think we will, pretty sure. Let's go back, just trying to make sure that we're not getting raided. And there's a lot of places getting raided, but our places are not one of them. Cool. Um, Northern Empire has declared war on us. They're not going to do anything to us. I really should try and attack the Av Castle. I should try and get like a second castle. It's probably what we want to do. Oh, look at you. Hello. Oh, you've been looted. Okay. Oh, Manteos. I could try and poach people from the Asari Kingdom. That is worth trying, I think. If we can catch up to them, which it looks like we will. I think that's a good move. And I do realize now that I have all these lords in my party and I can't recruit them from my party. It's kind of pointless. Are we going the wrong way? I think we're going the wrong way. I have a quick question. No. Uh, hmm. Wait, what was that? You're not going to listen to that while you're in an army? That's interesting. That's different. I think they've patched the game. So if I go to my prisoners, can I talk to those guys and convince them to join? Can I go up to, like, um, I think you're the leader, aren't you? Okay. Um, yeah, so maybe it's because we're not at war with them. They won't uh, even talk to me about joining. I'm just going to try and collect units, get ourselves a little bit more powerful for now, and see about what we can do in terms of fighting lords and trying to recruit them. I don't know what happened there. That was very strange how we were not able to actually recruit them there. I, I'm very, very curious. Yeah, that place is still looted. Let's just try and talk to this dude. I don't think he's actually a leader. But it's worth trying, right? Oh my god, look at that. Sorry, Force. That's crazy. Am I gonna catch them? No, I won't catch them. And we have a kingdom. And it doesn't look like we're being sieged right now. So I think we have a really good opportunity to press in. And either take a second castle or... I don't know. We'll see. I know at the very least I can give parties to my companions. And I can get like all my companions uh, set up pretty well like that. Any food for sale here? Yes. Okay. It's kind of expensive. Um, let's just push further. Oh, what's this? Um, oh, we, we ransomed someone that was just in our party. I didn't really want to do that, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> um, oh, wow, this place is cleared out of people. 
Yeah, I want to get to Ob Castle, I think. That one is probably the next one to fall. And then maybe Karanog? I'm not sure. I'm going to try and go for that one, though. Oh, look. What's this? I thought that there was like some fight that was going down, but it was not a very big fight. It's not really <laughs> worth making note of. Um, we're just gonna speed up the game and, and run up there. Man, this is actually, we've been not fighting a whole lot of people for a while here. It's kind of weird. Omar, let's go to Omar. And I kind of think we should just start um, splitting our army. But I'm also worried that my companions would just go and immediately just destroy everything. And the fact that I also have negative influence is a little bit concerning. <laughs> um, but at least if we split the army, we could be faster and we could start catching lords. That is our other option. Yes, cool. We could make a lot of money selling those lords. Oh, what? it says 1.00, but we actually have like two. <laughs> I was like, wait, what happened to one million of my, my cash? <laughs> I guess the game can't display that. It just doesn't work. Oh, there's 300 of them here. Well, if they sallied out to me, then I would be in um, a pretty bad spot. Didn't I once do this and they sallied out and like totally crushed me? And yeah, I, I just don't think we have really the numbers to to attack them. Maybe we'll find some lords, though. No, you guys won't. Um, what if I do hostile action and force you to give me recruits? Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> Sergeants, just just charge in there, guys. Honestly, with our number advantage, we're fine. I like having the blue arm uh, army color. It, for some reason, is deeply satisfying to me. Hey, you guys can chase after me. Turn, face me, let my archers shoot at you. Or let me shoot at you, that's fine too. <laughs> we can get the militia like that. Yeah, they're gonna just fall apart real quick. Oh, that one almost took a swing at me. <laughs> right in the face. Okay. I mean, we're definitely winning more than we need to. Hello. Yeah, so we're gonna take this place and get some good number of recruits, I think. Hopefully we can give some of those recruits to a companion and actually amass an army. It was so weird how that guy was like, I won't talk to you about this while I'm in an army. I haven't seen that before. I'll have to check the patch notes. Come on, we gotta, we gotta get these guys out and uh, hopefully get us another castle or another lord. I, I would be happy with either by the end of the episode, you know? Uh, come on, there's there's another one still left. Oh, <laughs> I almost took it a shot, but it didn't quite present itself. I always like going as blue as well because it's my favorite color. And it's funny because this is like the color stereotype that you always see in video games. You know, like sometimes I wonder about this game if like um, you just end up essentially generating a um a situation in this game that would be like a situation like in a, no a normal game like story world you know what i mean like this war right here would be like the backdrop to like kingdom come or something like that um yeah we're just gonna take your your units and make my troops actually have some force uh can i catch them i can Ooh. um Wolf skins. I just want to check the wolf skins to see if he's actually a leader or not. Who are the wolf skins? Leaders, Urin. So you're not the leader, so it's probably not even worth going after that dude, honestly. Because we can't recruit him, right? So what's the point? 
Uh, I'm just gonna be making you guys f give me your recruits because it worked out for us in the positive last time. Take over command. Yeah. I mean, if I was being tactical about this, we could really crush them. You know, like really get the archers to hit them hard. Yep, you guys are just gonna take your javelins and throw those at me. I really don't want to get hit by that, but as long as I turn them, as long as I turn them, the archers get some shots, I'm, I'm happy. Now they're gonna stop chasing me, probably. Is this the archers? It is. Oh, 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 oh. Need to get out of there. That's not a good spot. There's like six people trying to shoot me. The good news is that because they're trying to shoot me, they're not gonna try and shoot my infantry. Right? Nope. I can at least apply a little pressure to them. Slash the infantry running away. Yeah, the the ones that are really gonna get kills right now are the archers. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna start shooting at people. We don't want that. Come on, there we go. Good work, team. It was, it's always weird to me how when you shoot people in this game with an arrow, but they've already died, how you don't get the sound effect from them getting hit by the arrow, you know? Have you ever noticed that like that, I got the little noise sound effect? But you don't get that if they're actually already dead, like that dude. If I had shot him when he was like falling down from the damage, it wouldn't have done anything. Okay. Um... <laughs> Actually hit him. Nice. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, I gotta get like an actual lord fighting me or like I don't know, something. I think the Vlandians are just so overwhelmed by the um the sorry right now that like they don't even bother with me. Definitely take all of these guys, those prisoners will eventually join me. The other ones will not, so it's kinda like why bring them, you know? I'm so excited about how they sped up the uh, the stuff in the cities like that. Like honestly, super cool. That's gonna that's like a huge quality of life improvement. I wonder, yeah, because it's the beta. Um, over the prisoner limit. Uh, get rid of the fancy prisoners then. If we're over the limit, that should be enough. Alright, um, yep, give me your recruits, man. Oh, look at that. That that was definitely worth it. Now we're at like 200-something troops. Oh man, I really, really, really want to siege down the castle of 300, but there is probably easier targets um, wherever the Asari are. You know, like the Asari's are probably hitting them pretty hard. Is the, like... Thing that I'm thinking. Okay, we are bartering a lot of people's freedom here. <laughs> can I also get some recruits? I'm just curious if I can. Oh, like, oh not many, but you know, can I get one there? That's kind of nice. Um, I'm definitely going to keep on attacking these places for their units. Oh, look, Lucon's here. <laughs> I could execute Lucon. <gasps> oh man, should I do it? I kind of want to do it. Uh, how fast am I? He's too fast for me, is the problem. So I'm not going to catch him. Yeah, give me your recruits. I'm just going to roll through, keep on taking recruits out as much as I can. And these guys actually don't have... Dismount! Nope. It looks to me like they're actually doing kind of a, a nice thing by just holding our ground here. So infantry, eh, archers, bowmen. uh, yeah, bowmen fall back. It's fine, actually, uh, actually, why don't we have the bowmen come up here so the bowmen can actually hit these archers? 
I mean, they're kind of in the trees, so it's kind of like not going to be ideal, but. After me! Move! Um. Let's see. Infantry, follow, push, follow, push, stay close. And you guys just fall back a little bit, so the archers can kind of hit them. And there's 20 of them right now. Let's see if we can kill all of them with our archers. I think we can. Honestly. I think we can totally kill all of them. We can have like a little arch off. I mean, they're dying. They're definitely dying. <laughs> yeah, everyone get in there. It's fine. They've only got 10 people. They're not gonna... Oh, they actually managed to get a kill. Well, congratulations. I hope you feel good about yourself now. I mean, honestly, if you were about to go down in battle, you might as well get at least one kill, right? One last uh, hurrah. Okay, yeah, that looks good to me. Um, I will take all of those prisoners. <laughs> We've got a huge prisoner party right now. They'll all join me, I'm pretty sure. This is going to take a while. You know? Like, look at that. <laughs> I've got 20 and 20 of each of those. I mean, honestly, if we siege to place the prisoner recruits that we would get would probably sustain us. Um, oh, this place actually only has 211 people. I'm going to siege it. I'm totally going to go for it. Oh, man. We may get attacked because of this. Um, if we do, then that may be an opportunity for some diplomacy to see if they'll uh, if they'll join me. I do, I just need to keep that in mind, you know. Um, let's see, yeah, Karanot Rog. They do have a number of places around here, so I do have to be cautious. Um, also. You know what I should do is I should look at the Vlandians and look at which lords uh, do not like their um, their king. So if I go to Dirtheart, his friends, his enemies. Uh, yeah, he and you don't get along great. Oh, he's. Let's look for your vassals. I'd like to be able to see his vassals and which ones don't like him, and that one's a good option. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Luich, Luichin, where are you? Uh, is that anywhere nearby? No, not really. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I could spend some time doing this. Uh, but I'm not sure how much it's going to pay off. Uh, but we could just try and keep an eye out for, like, Lucan and Belgir. Like, there are probably people who would be willing to join me. Or Arduin, right? Oh, actually, that guy's part of your your own faction. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's besiege this place. We're gonna do it. We're gonna siege this place down. We're gonna get another Vlandian castle, ideally. It might be the case that that doesn't work out. But I think that we can we can pull it off. I mean, our food says it should last for 37 days. We got yeah, we got tons of food. We'll be able to siege this place down. I've got a good feeling. Hopefully, we get another lord that comes by that we can try and recruit. But I'm also kind of hoping that we can. Um, Marineth is being defended. Okay, so I think that that is the Vlandians uh, defending that place, which probably means those sorry are about to take that place, which probably means <laughs> um, good things for us. I'm pretty sure Marinath is um, Vlandian. It might be Asari. I might have actually taken that for the Asari. If that's the case and the Vlandians take it, I might want to make my way over there and go after Marinath. That's something to just keep in the back of my mind, is trying to go after the place that they just took out. Um, Off Castle has been besieged by the Kuzates. The one that I was looking at, remember? Well, that is interesting, isn't it? 
Uh, we're actually making gold now, so it looks like... I don't know how we're making gold, but we're doing it. Um, it's a shame that we're losing influence and we're literally in the negative with influence. But I think if we take a couple castles, then I might be able to get that. And I think also lords give you influence or something. I don't know exactly how it works. I, I, I honestly have no idea. But I think that we're going to probably get this castle. I've got a good feeling that... And if we have two castles, then we can give a castle to another guy and be like, Hey, be my bro. We've got castles in the Valandian countryside. <laughs> our kingdom. Our merchant kingdom. Made of um, Vlandian castles. Yeah. Don't think about it too much. Let's put that in reserve. Um, I think we probably want at least two trebuchets before we start trying to suppress those things. Uh, they they were just attacking. Of castles been besieged. I think, is that the same message or a different one? Um, okay, things are going good. So I've got this, like, problem where I put the CPU cooler on that's not quite as powerful as I thought it would be. And I'm not sure if I want to upgrade or not. Um, or put the stock one on that I had. I am, that's not even upgrading, that's just, like, using what you had, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um... Yeah, let's get the two trebuchets going, because I think two trebuchets can take out that many ballista, right? I could be wrong, and if I am, I'll pull it back, but I think that they've got this. And those things do a fair amount of damage to us, but yeah, and we've already taken out, I think, three of the four. We just take out the other one. It looks like we're hitting the wall instead, but that's fine. As long as I just keep an eye out for mega armies that want to destroy everything that I love, then I think that we're good. And look, their numbers are already down one to one. We already have as many troops as them, and I'm getting more prisoners. I think the prisoner farming is an incredibly powerful thing when, when uh, used correctly in this game. You know? It's a very different thing than in Warband, where, like, recruiting prisoners, like, didn't Wait, what? What just? That was weird. Didn't really um, present itself very often, and it was like I think some mods tried to do it more, but you know, like, yeah, maybe I don't need f four trebuchets to take this place out. I mean, might be kind of nice, but I think we could probably take out the wall. With just what the three that we have and just get like a ram going. And yeah, three seems to be more than enough to take out the walls. Slash whittle down their numbers. And I think we want to push to the next castle. And we have a really nice army here. Like it's, it's a pretty strong army. You know? So I think we'll just whittle this down a little bit and attack it. Um, maybe we'll take out the other wall too. I mean, it's nice to have like them have like no defenses basically as much as you can, because then you can charge in from as many sides as possible. And man, I do I like hitting those ballistas. It just makes it easy um, to just get a little bit more of an advantage. I think though that we can attack them. Like honestly, at this point, pretty comfortable with saying that we could attack. Yeah, let's just wait till this wall's down, and then we'll we'll finish it swiftly. Um, man, we do have more recruits. Nice. All these traders, they're like, okay, yeah, we'll take the walls. You guys seem like you you got this figured out. And I love how like the sorry, like they're like total bros with me. Like they don't care about me doing any of this. Uh, take out that last one. There we go. Okay, let's let's go ahead and attack this. And we've got numbers. We have siege equipment. We have so much in our favor. We may lose some people, but I think right now we just want to press advantage and hurt the Vlandians as much as possible. Um, 
Why am I by myself? That was weird. Are my troops already up there? I think when they auto-deployed, the troops got put right against the walls. Let's see how the frames do. And with the beta here, I think that it's looking pretty good. Actually looking really good. And the frames are holding nicely. Okay, that guy up there, I would like him to go. Oh, no, this guy first. Come on. Thank you. I can't I can't be that embarrassed with the internet. I'm gonna just get on foot because I think we're gonna need to be. Any archers that I can hit from up here? Kind of. Yep. Didn't really get them there. Nice, we got a recruit. Are you gonna take a shot or no? Nope, not really. Okay. This is a pretty sweet battle though. Look at this thing. Storming this like a uh, Batanian like castle. This is totally a, a Batanian style castle, right? It's like looks so English to me. Or Irish, you know. Okay, you guys just kinda like push against each other. Great. You know, it's it's moments like this where I'm like, I love these battles in Bannerlord, but I also hate them. Because <laughs> I want to get in there and see it, but I can't really see it. <laughs> oh man, they got a couple kills there. Get the shields up, boys. You see them kill him like that. Where are they? Where are the last of them? Oh, in the courtyard. Probably have the ram trying to get in there. Oh, we got tactical points. Yeah, they're crushed. Yeah, did we get in the wall? We did. Nice. Oh man, so cool, right? Look at that. <laughs> okay. And that didn't really go over that much over half an hour, so that was, that was nice timing-wise. Oh man, look at all these prisoners. I want to take all the ones that I can recruit. So I'm going to just select a little bit. But yeah, the rest of them can go. Um, yes, because I can dump them in the castle. I will take all of the prisoners. And, um, we can, we can give a castle to another person. Could I give a castle to one of my, um, companions, possibly? I'm just curious if I go to this and, oh, uh, I can't see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll I'll play around with it a little bit more. In any case, we have a second castle. We have um this right here and that right there. So we got a little foothold in like the snowy part of the world. Oh yeah, look Marinath right there getting assaulted. Um yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.